Hey everybody, Josh from Soka here. Today we're doing something a little different and unique for us. We're saying thank you um, and we're celebrating. Uh, we're celebrating the one year anniversary of the Soka hot melt waxing system. Um, crazy to think it's been a year and at the same time we launched the system, if you guys remember, we launched the strip chip. Um, game changers. I think really if you think about uh, the state of the industry. You know, a, a year prior, we had launched Chain Stripper, one of our biggest product launches ever uh, at Unbound in 2023. And, you know, that was, I think, pretty revolutionary for a lot of folks, us included. I mean, I have bottled so much of this stuff myself, uh, the team here. It's wild. But the two-year project to really focus on stripping the chain in the wax without needing a separate cleaner, um, was groundbreaking and and it's been a fun and exciting year to really see what's happened uh you know we've won almost every single major gravel race in the world we kept our streak of winning world tours uh going most of them with teams that we don't sponsor we picked up officially uh one of our customers as a team visma lisa bike were the official lubricant uh, of them uh this year um and and have developed products with them and some fun stuff that's coming. But yeah, it just, it's been crazy to kind of see the world change in that the high performance cycling has bent in the direction of wax uh, and wax systems. We've had, I think half a dozen competitors uh, bring wax products to the market. I know of at least two or three competitors uh, in Europe who've brought wax melters that look kind of like this one to market. Um, it's crazy to think we've, we've sort of change the landscape with some of these products but you know i am excited to see that we continue to be at that cutting edge uh, and really i think leading the charge with uh, the only system kind of view of chain waxing right so i my goal is to meet people where they are maybe you're watching this and you think oh that chain waxing is so stupid why does anybody do that well i want to make it easy for you to experience what is without a doubt the finest lubrication method uh, and methodology for a bicycle, right? You're talking the lowest friction possible, the longest drivetrain longevity from a wear and tear perspective. It is saving you money uh, long-term because you're wearing out fewer chains. That means you're wearing out fewer cassettes. That means you're wearing out fewer chain rings. And have you seen what cassettes and chain rings cost right now? I mean, <laughs> the new SRAM, uh, cassette is like $700. So if, you know, you can make that thing last twice as long, uh, we've saved you $700. So I do want to talk about the system because I think this is important. No other company is offering you a complete system uh, in which you can get everything done at once. So we offer chain stripper. If you want to strip in an old water bottle, uh, you know, in a jar, uh, you know, shake it up, let it sit for five minutes, shake it up again, rinse it um, on a factory chain with, with dirty chains. It's a little bit of a different story. Maybe it takes two or three swipes of this. Truly, if you're getting into wax, start with a new chain. It will make everything easier. And it takes out uh, the original dirty chain and any lubricant that was put on that chain uh, kind of as a variable. Because there are certain types of lubricant uh, that even chain stripper won't strip off. And so you may end up with old uh, lubricant and dirt still trapped inside. But if factory chain, throw it in here, shake it up, five minutes, 10 minutes, your choice uh, works great. Or factory chain, strip chip, super secret, in your wax melter, 125, it's 10 minutes. Um, jiggle it around, make sure you get all that factory grease uh, oleogelated with strip chip, and it's done. I mean, think about this. In that system, there are no solvents used. The grease is converted and captured in here uh, in the wax. It stays in the wax. You can keep reusing it um, with all the benefits of wax. And that chain and your drivetrain will never see a single solvent in its life. So we're taking solvents out of the environment. It's less stuff for you to buy, less stuff for you to have to use. How do you clean it? You can clean a wax chain in boiling water. Um, throw it in boiling water, all the wax melts out, floats to the top with the dirt, you can pour it off. Um, it is so easy, solvent-free, so much more environmentally friendly uh, than the old way. So two methods for stripping 
the chain, okay? Secret chain blend, right? You put that in here, that is your kind of optimal performance wax. It's, it's one of the fastest waxes. It's one of the longest lasting waxes. Look at the zero friction data. It's the lowest wearing wax through all six blocks ever tested to this day. Competitors keep bringing products to market to come after us, but we're, we're still winning in that one. Um, you want to make it faster, like if pure speed is what you're after, you can add a speed chip. Um, make it up to 1.2, 1.4 watts faster, depending. I think it's up to about 0.6% faster um, in the 250 watt input test. Or if you want to make it last twice as long, you know, you're doing a 600 kilometer event, 700 kilometer event, you can add an endurance chip to the wax and extend that single application longevity. So, you know, I think we've really got uh, gotten to a place where we can kind of meet you where you are with your performance demands. Um, you know, do you want pure speed? Do you want endurance? Do you want all around blended performance? We've got you there. And then if you cannot hot wax uh, in the moment, we are the only top off em emulsified uh, drip wax that is identical to the hot wax. So this stuff is basically this stuff uh, emulsified and suspended in a carrier liquid you can top off your hot melt with the super secret drip wax um, to keep it going in between hot waxing. So for a normal person, that might look like, uh, you know, every three, 250, 300 kilometers, you're topping off, and then maybe every 1,000, 1,200 kilometers, you're re-hot melt uh, waxing the chain to really reset uh, the whole system. So there you go. Um, the one-year anniversary of this, we're still the only complete system uh, in the market. What else do you guys want to know? Uh, leave your questions and comments below. What are we missing? I always feel like we're missing something product-wise. You know, I know people are always asking, oh, what about this? What about that? I want to hear your questions and your comments. Uh, yeah, let us know. I look forward to talking to you next time.